Boom! Hey, what's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about um, a stock that I've actually been researching. Um, and so, I wanted to bring that to you guys. And this is a very cheap stock, it's a penny stock, but I think that it has a lot of potential. So, uh, again, it's in the EV space. And so I want to make sure that we cover that are here on the channel. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if you have something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So um, guys, before we actually like jump into the video, just give you guys some updates. Um, you're going to see, I'm going to start posting back on my regular schedule. Uh, summer is over, all the busy, crazy um running around camping keeping the kids busy that's that's done so i'm gonna get back to posting in my regular schedule and doing more research uh, for you guys and then um start doing some some live here because i've been getting a lot of requests from some of you guys you know we'll do some live here on the channel just gonna hang out we'll talk about investing talk about day trading and all that good stuff so we're gonna do that uh here uh subsequently so i just want to make sure that i give you guys um that update so uh, the stock that I've actually been researching is um, a lithium mining uh, stock. You guys remember we talked here um, on the channel about Lithium America, ticket symbol LAC. And we talked about it when I first researched that company, told you guys this is a buy. It was trading somewhere around uh, $11. And we've seen it go as high as like 30 bucks and then pull back. And then trading somewhere right now in the 20s. So uh, this other company that I'm talking about right now has a similar potential. And this one is still a penny stock. So I want to make sure that I give you guys that information. Again, the reason why I'm actually researching stocks in, uh, let's say, lithium is because I'm looking at the evolution of electric vehicles. We know for sure that's the direction that we're going as a society. There's no turning back. We see all major car manufacturers are jumping on there, uh, pledging that they're going to go full electric by 2030 for, for somebody like GM. Ford is in that same BMW, Mercedes. All these companies are promising to go fully electric. So um, if they are all going electric, it means that the demand for lithium is going to skyrocket. And if the demand for lithium skyrocket, one company cannot provide it. So you're going to have multiple companies providing it. So again, I'm looking like the, the life cycle of an electric vehicle. Um, again, it involves lithium because that's the, the, the one thing that would power those vehicles, the, the batteries. So if you take that life cycle, lithium has to be mined somewhere. Uh, when lithium is mined, uh, lithium has to be used to build batteries. So there's a company that's mining it. There's a company that uses that lithium to build batteries. And then there's a company that uses that battery to build electric vehicles, AKA Tesla Lucid model. And then there's another company now that when those uh, vehicles go out of commission, they can't just throw the batteries away. Um, they would have to recycle them. So we're talking about companies that would recycle. I've given you guys this life cycle here. So to me, that is the way I see my investment in the EV space. It's not just buying Tesla or Neo or Lucid because those are the actual vehicles, but all the other um, uh, points of distribution or the other companies that bring the, the, the lithium and the batteries to the point of consumption and building those vehicles. I want to be involved in those uh, companies as well. I want to be invested in those companies. So that's why I'm giving you guys that full picture. So again, you want to invest in companies that mine lithium. There's bigger ones out there. As a matter of fact, I did a video here where I talked about my top five uh, lithium companies. So if you didn't watch that video, I'm going to hook it up here. You can definitely go check that one out. And so a, to some of these companies are already trading over $100 uh, a share. So I'm looking for companies that are getting into the space. So I'm just looking for uh, companies that are still very cheap, um, still in the process of establishing themselves. And so if you can get in um, very cheap and then when these companies start to establish or establish themselves, then you're going to be sitting pretty good. So again, like I said, we talked about Lithium America here. Uh, it's now trading in, uh, you know, in the 20s. When we talked about it, it was still um, like $11. So the company that I'm talking about here is called Neo Lithium. So Neolithium is in the business of mining for lithium. And just like 
uh, Lithium America, they are still in the process of um, uh, doing exploration, doing their feasibility study, and doing all the other good things that would eventually lead to mining lithium. So again, they are um, exploring uh, this area in South America where um, Lithium America also has a plant. So this is like one of the biggest um, uh, deposit of lithium in the world. So I think they say it has about 40% of the lithium across the globe is in that particular region. That's why I have all these other companies. Lithium America has their plan down there. So uh, Neo Lithium is also exploring in, in that same area. And the ticket symbol right now is NTTHF. So again, NTTHF. Um, this company is not trading on the NASDAQ. It's an OTC stock. For those of you that don't quite understand what that means, it means this stock is um, over the counter. So uh, you might not find it on, let's say, Weibo or Robinhood. Uh, you can find it on, I think, TD Ameritrade, uh, Tinker Swim. Uh, you can find it on Vanguard and all these other big uh, uh, brokers. That you, that's where you can find it. So you might, yeah, Weibo and uh, Robinhood or Stockpile, all these other companies will not have it. But this is one that uh, the entry point here to me uh, says, hey, you can uh, put a very small amount of investment with huge potential. Um, the stock is still trading somewhere around $3 and some change. So if I can actually uh, bring it up here. So this is what you can see right here. The stock is currently sitting somewhere around three dollars and some change on 38 cents. If you can just watch how this thing is moved, um, just as of um, May of this year, this thing was down at 190. So look at that movement. So from 190 May, uh, we're sitting now in September, and it's, it's sitting somewhere at uh, three dollars and 28 cents. And for me, what I see here is it's always showing like a downward trend right now. So I'll look at this trend and hopefully wait for it to pull back. Uh, as a matter of fact, the market is so shaky right now that I don't want to jump into this, this one because I haven't bought the stock yet. You guys know if I buy it, I'll let you know. I haven't bought it yet. I'm still looking at these levels. Um, I like it down here. Uh, if I see it start testing these levels down here, like $2 and 220 that's what I'm, I might start getting interested. If the market continues to pull back as it is doing right now, this thing might pull back all the way. So I'll put maybe uh, $1,000 or $2,000 in the stock uh, just to see uh, uh, where this one goes. Again, it has the same potential, in my opinion, uh, like Lithium America. And if that happens, we might see some huge gain here. So again, there is a uh, when it comes to the, the stock, there is some major things that I anticipate that uh, this stock is going to move. If we can just jump over here to their presentation again, um, this is based out, out of South America and somewhere around that Chile area uh, with uh, Argentina, because that's where they have the largest deposit um, per them. They took about about 40% of uh, the global production of lithium comes from that area, which is insane. Um, so if you can see here um, in this particular slide, uh, if you see Lithium America is right here, and this is in Argentina, and then down here, this is the uh, uh, 3Q project. This is Neo Lithium. So they are located down here. Again, um, if all of them are fighting for this lithium here, and there is an opportunity for everybody I want to benefit from both of them. Lithium America is exploring uh, 3Q uh, project down here from Neo Lithium is exploring. I want to be able to benefit from uh, the entire life cycle. So again, that's my personal take because again, if you can jump in early on, it's a, a tremendous amount of opportunity. So again, if you can look here, this is what they've completed so far as far as uh, being able to do all the surveys that they needed around that area. Um, just kind of drilling some holes or some mines to stop, uh, you know, extracting uh, the brine that is uh, that contains the lithium, and so then do some testing um, and then building their wells and everything that would allow them to be able to um, extract the the lithium um, out of that. So I think they are headed in the right direction, but again, you have to be patient with them. This is not like a quick win. In my personal opinion, you have to buy this one and hold it long term. 
and give you some opportunity to develop. So again, if you can look here, this is um, right here. This is Lithium America. Look at where they are um, as far as um, the, the grade of their lithium. And then 3Q project is right up here. So they're actually uh, looking better than Lithium America. But I'm not saying Lithium America is bad because they have a huge potential too. So again, I want to benefit if there's an opportunity. I just don't want to take just one side. So yes, again, this is the process um, how they would go about uh, uh, getting the lithium. They, they dig their wells, um, they extract the brine, they allow it to, in, in this uh, open uh, system, they allow it, the water to evaporate and then they can like pipe it through the system to the point where they have their lithium cabinet, which is what gets uh, packaged and, and, and shipped out. So I, again, um, I've talked about these details in uh, with Lithium America. So if you watch those videos, yeah, obviously you know exactly what's going on. Again, here 99.797 purity achieved. You get, this is just their feasibility study. Who knows when they start full production? It might not be 99%. Even if it's 95%, that's still huge uh, purity that they are getting out of there. So uh, I mean, I, I won't just not invest in the company because um, they're not getting the purity. They're getting good purity so far based on their feasibility studies. Again, the other thing that I want you guys to be aware of is right now, um, CATL, which is one of the largest battery manufacturers in the world based out of China, has actually gone into a partnership with these guys. If you are a battery manufacturer, what do you do? You want to partner with somebody that's going to give you the lithium to enable you to manufacture your battery. So they, they've already invested in, in this company. So they are a huge investor. And again, this is a company that, that builds batteries for BMW. As you can see here, Honda, um, Toyota, Tesla. Um, so they have huge uh, presence in the market. So to come in as an investor, in uh, neo lithium i think it's huge so to me that's one of the, the other things that i saw it's like these guys are already uh supplying like some of the biggest companies uh in, in the world so if they are partnering with neo lithium means they've seen something in, in this company that uh can potentially uh yield some really good results so that's why i really um you know kind of feel positive about this one and again guys this is going to be a long-term investment it's not going to be uh, a quick win here um, we'll find those levels like I said um, we can get into those levels that, that $2 uh, $2.50 at that point I can look and start buying again this is just some of the work that they've done already as far as uh, from 2019 to 2020 and then 2021 so if you can see they have uh, this com to complete their finer feasibility study Q3 of 2021. So they're actually working on that right now and then obtain some of the, the, the permits that they need and then start, um, um, you know, executing construction plans, which I think uh, once they get to that point, um, yeah, you're going to see the price of the stock. And um, I can predict to you guys right now um, here on the channel. Again, this is my personal prediction that once these guys start uh, building or constructing this stock is going to get promoted from uh, OTC to the NASDAQ. That's my personal uh, uh, prediction here. You're going to see that promotion, which means they've actually achieved uh, what I call the big boy status. So you're going to see that. Uh, again, these are some of the reasons why they are claiming you should invest in them. To me, number one, again, is that CATL uh, is one of their top investor. You know, you have a ton of money in there. And then 100% uh, own. This is, I mean, owned by the company, which I, I like. Large reserve and resource in that area. I mean, talking about 40% of uh, lithium deposit comes from that area. So I think that that is strong. If they can actually explore it, I think that's strong. And then uh, one other thing that I, I really want to kind of mention here is that um, if you notice, like even Lithium America, the the stock is taking some sort of up and down because of the plan in Nevada. Um, the regulations that we, the environmental regulations that we have here in the United States, are not as uh, as steep as you would find in South America. Down there, regulation, environmental regulations are a little bit lax. So 
they can do a lot more down there because there's not a lot of red tapes to go through. So since these guys are only based in that region, I anticipate them moving fast compared to Lithium America that has that plan down there and the one here in the United States. The one here in the United States, in Nevada, is going to slow them down because of the, the red tapes that you have to go through before you can actually start um, extracting uh, lithium. So again, so I think these guys are going to get to market faster um, and than, than Lithium America, again, in my personal opinion. So that's uh, some of the stuff. So again, guys, uh, if we can just take a look here quickly at the chart, um, this stock is currently trading at $3.28. Um, just for context, this is an OTC stock, you can see here, which means over the counter. So you're not going to find it on Weibo or on Robinhood or on uh, SoFi or Stockpile. You'll find it on Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, Vanguard. Those are the places where you would find this stock. So definitely uh, be aware uh, of that. So again, uh, Neolithium, in my opinion, it's uh, my next um potential lithium uh company that i'm going to be investing in i'm waiting for good levels to actually get into um the the company so i have this on my radar um, i'm watching it as soon as it hits uh, my point of entry then i'm going to consider um uh, buying buying the stock so again guys this is a high risk high reward stock uh just like lithium america when you're going into this one, start thinking long term. Again, I've given you guys um, the reason why I, I anticipate this is kind of a, a great opportunity for the price that is currently trading at. Uh, but again, I'm not buying at that price. I'm still even waiting for this thing to pull back before I can buy. Uh, and again, I want to get in, get a position, and just let it ride um, the next maybe 12 months or um, 18 months and see what happens. Uh, again, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Um, do you know about Neolithium? Heard about them? If not, let me know if you are investing in lithium companies. If yes, which ones are you currently invested in? Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content and as always guys do your due diligence don't be greedy savage stay motivated